as you can see, we have here a DC motor. And on the back of this DC motor, we have two conductors. We have a black conductor and a red conductor. And they're each coming from the terminal on the back of the motor. So I'm going to close our DC motor part. And we're now going to look at our DC motor in the context of the assembly. As you can see, we have our DC motor installed in our main assembly. And what I want to do is create some cable routing that comes from these wires, from these conductors, down into the body of our assembly. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on the DC motor. And I'm going to right click on this motor and I'm going to click edit in place. Right click, edit in place. And now we are editing our part within the context of the assembly. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to come to my origin and I'm going to look for my plane that I want to use for the sweep profile. I'm going to click on the XZ plane here because that's the one that intersects the part vertically. That's what I want. So I'm going to create a sketch on this plane. And I'm going to come to Fit Point Spline. And I'm going to just drag out a couple lines here. And I'm going to place them in this direction, in this green line direction. And now I want to move perpendicular to this. So I'm going to come to where my planes are and I'm going to click on the plane where I want to move perpendicularly. And as you can see, Fusion is very nice to us and it makes all the other parts of my assembly clear. So it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here. So that being said, I'm just gonna kind of place this along my assembly, right click and hit OK. And now we've effectively created a sketch that we can use. So I'm going to come down to my sketches for this part and I'm going to inspect what it looks like. And as you can see, it's not perfect, but we can always change this. So I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to end my edit in place. And to make this a little bit faster, what I can do is I can just save my assembly and I wanna open up my motor on its own. So I'm going to right click and just come to open. As we can see in our motor part, we have our spline. And what I want to do is attach a straight line that comes out from our two leads. So I'm going to come to line. I'm going to attach a line to here, make it horizontal. And then I'm going to connect these two points with a coincident constraint. And I'm also going to select both of these lines and make them tangent to each other. Um, after that, you can see that we now have a tangent assembly and I can click on one of these points and just kind of drag it around. And I can really do that with any of these points. I can kind of move it and shape it as I need. I can also uh, choose to move it laterally if necessary. So you can kind of manipulate your points. Um, if you click on it, if you double click on it, what you can do is bring up this triad and then you can move it up and down. And the triad's really helpful because it helps you move it exactly where you want it to be because usually you don't know um, which plane you're moving it in. So you can kind of direction it um, as you see fit. So I'm just gonna hit okay here. And as long as this is what we want, we're going to just kind of finish the sketch. And I can show this sketch here in the browser. And what I want to do next is I want to create a sweep. So I'm going to start a sketch here on this face. And I'm going to click on this face. 
and click P on the keyboard to project it. And now I'm going to come to Create and then Sweep. I'm going to click on my profile, click on the path. And there we have our sweep. And so we're going to um, hit OK. And we want to do the same thing here on the other side. Just click on this, um, click project, project this geometry. And we're going to do the same thing. So we want to come to solid, create, and then we want to come down to our sweep um, as we just did. This is going to be our profile and our path will be this line. And you may need to select multiple lines. And once you do, um, this is what you're going to have. And so there are some other parameters you can play with. You can play with twist angle and um, other things like that, but um, it's not really uh, necessary for what we have. So we're just going to leave these other inputs at zero and um, we're just going to hit OK. And so we have our conductor routed. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to come back to my main assembly. and. Once I update this, we're going to get a better view of our motor with the updated uh, routing. So that's along the lines of what we want. As a bonus, I want to show you one last tactic that we can use to make our cable routing a little bit more realistic. I'm going to start a sketch as we have before on this face. And I'm going to select both of these circles. I'm going to click P on the keyboard to project these two circles. And once I have them projected, I have to make sure that these are projected. What I can do is create a sweep of both of these profiles. So I'm going to come up to create sweep and I'm going to select both of these profiles as well as the path. And if I select the entire path, then of course that will um, come up. And so as you can see, this is exactly what we had before, but there is a subtle change we can make. If I change the twist angle this time, and I choose to make this say 360 times say 15, and you can really just type in um, the equation. If you type in 360 times 15 for the twist angle, then you're going to see um, an interesting thing happen here. These are going to uh, twist, as you can see. And as long as we make a new body, we should be fine. We had operation cut selected. And we're just going to select new part and hit OK, or new body and hit OK. And as you can see, um, it's done what we want it to. So this is very helpful when you have um, two conductors that are uh, twisted together. And you can make your assembly much more realistic by doing this. And you can change the twist angle to the amount of revolutions that you want based on the length of it, of your chord length. Thank you.